Turn the people, good morning and welcome to today's predictions. If you are new to this channel, make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and make sure you join our Telegram channel. It's in the pinned comment section. So make sure you join these things um, quickly. We try our very best. As you can see, yesterday was a very good day. We won a 3.5 plus odds, as you can see. And we also gave 25 plus odds and only two games um, disappointed. But we had games that did very well, uh, both teams to score. So if you guys selected some of the matches or if you edited, chances are that you've won those odds. So for today, we've prepared five plus odds for you people. Um, the five plus odds are split into two. So into two tickets, 2.5 odds and 2.5 odds each. So you can play them separately. That will be my encouragement. So the very first game we have here is from the England EFL Cup Final. It's a game involving Chelsea and Liverpool. Now, when you look at Chelsea's overall last five matches, there has been an average of 1.5 goals with matches involving Chelsea in their last five games. When you check Liverpool's last five matches, there has been an average of two goals whenever they have played away from home. And their head-to-head -head shows that this is a fixture that has produced goals, especially in their last meeting, they produced 1.5 goals. Chelsea's defense has been very bad. Liverpool has such outstanding attack. So this is a game you can expect Chelsea to score. This is a game you can expect Liverpool to score as well. So the prediction is simple. We are predicting over 1.5 goals in 90 minutes for Chelsea and Liverpool. And the odd for over 1.5 goals in 90 minutes is 1.20. The next fixture we have is from the Spain La Liga. It's a game involving Real Madrid and Sevilla. Now, when you look at Real Madrid at home, one thing you'll notice is that this is a very, very serious team. This is a team that doesn't joke. Five matches and they have won four out of five. 2.5 goals averaged when they've played at home. Sevilla away from home has averaged 1.5 goals away from home. Their head-to-head -head shows that this is a fixture that has produced 2.5 goals 4 out of 5 times. So the prediction is simple. We are predicting this fixture to produce over 2 goals in 90 minutes. Bear in mind that Real Madrid did not win their last away match. So they will use this opportunity to win this game by scoring a lot of goals. And Sevilla should also get a goal as well. So the odd for this fixture to produce over two goals is priced at 1.22. The next fixture we have is an interesting game. It's a game involving Borussia Dortmund and Offingham. Now we need to look at Borussia Dortmund at home. Now when you look at Borussia Dortmund, five matches played, 2.5 goals. Four out of their last five games have produced 2.5 goals. Now you check Offingham away from home, 2.5 goals averaged away from home. And their head-to-head -head shows that this is a fixture that has produced goals whenever they meet. Dunmouth currently is scoring for fun and they want to capitalize on Stargard's um, you know, recent game. They want to pick maximum points from this game and closing on the top three. So you can 100% expect Dartmouth to score a lot of goals and offer him to also score one or two goals. So the prediction is simple. We are predicting that this fixture will produce over two goals in 90 minutes. The odd for this fixture to produce over two goals is 1.12. It's almost a given, guaranteed, that this fixture will produce goals, over two goals. The next fixture we have is a game from the Italian Serie A. It's a game involving Juventus and Fro Fro Frozenon. Now, this is going to be a very important game for both teams. Frozenon is a strong team. You know, um, as you can see, last five matches, they always score. They have scored in 
three out of their last five away matches, even though they haven't won. Juventus too has also averaged 1.5 goals in four out of its last five home matches. And they'll be looking to avenge their last loss at home, which was a shocking defeat to Utenis. So this is a fixture that will produce goals. As you can see, their last head-to-head -head had goals, a lot of goals. So the prediction is simple. We are predicting over two goals in 90 minutes for this fixture. So the odd for this fixture to produce over two goals is priced at 1.33. And of course, you have the 2.5 odds based on the analysis we've done. And for the remaining 2.5 odds, we're about to take you guys through the rationale for the remaining 2.5 odds. So you have the spotty bet and the one expect. Now for the next 2.5 odds, we have AC Milan. So AC Milan is playing Atalanta. This is going to be a very key game for AC Milan and Atalanta. Um, Atalanta is a strong team. They always score goals. AC Milan too is a strong team. As you can, you can see, AC Milan has produced 2.5 goals at home. Atalanta too has produced a minimum of 1.5 goals away from home. Atalanta has scored in 4 out of its last 5 away matches. And their head-to-head -head shows that this is a fixture that has produced goals whenever they play. This is a game that will definitely produce goes AC Milan scoring and Atlanta scoring as well. So the prediction is simple. We are predicting over two goals in 90 minutes. We are very confident AC Milan is going to score. We are very confident Atlanta is going to score. So the odd for over two goals is priced at 1.36. The next fixture we have is a game involving Lens and Monaco. Now to understand the prediction we need to look at Lens at home. Now, when you look at Lens, you see that this is a team that scores and concedes. So they've scored and conceded in five out of their last um, five matches. And they haven't scored more than two goals in their last five home matches. Sorry, that was Monaco. Monaco has not scored more than two goals. Sorry, Monaco has scored and conceded in its last five away matches so they score and they concede now lanes this is a team that has not scored that has scored just more than two goals in one game in in their last five matches so they always score and concede and they are meeting a monaco team that is on the same level as them now as you can see when they met last time it ended two three so a lot of goals were scored and then it eventually ended two three so this is not a game that Lens is going to score Monaco three unreplied goals. No, this is not also a game Monaco will score Lens three unreplied goals. No, both teams will score each other and will have a goal at, at each other. As you can see here, they are for position five and position six. So it's going to be a very tight game for the two teams. So what we are saying is that no team will score three or more goals in a row. And if you are conversant with the French league, the French teams don't score a lot of goals like that. Like four goals, five goals, that was no. It's only PSG that scores a lot of goals. So the odd for no team to score three or more goals in a row is 1.21. The next game we have is a game involving PSG and Rennes. Now, to understand our prediction, we need to look at PSG's form at home. Now, when you look at PSG's form at home, one thing you see is that PSG has averaged 2.5 goals when they've played at home. Now, Reigns, when they play away from home, has averaged 2.5 goals away from home. Four out of their last five meetings did produce 2.5 goals. This is going to be a very key game for PSG, and you can expect Reigns to grab one or two goals so but what is certain is that psg is definitely getting one or more goals in this fixture so the odd for this fixture to produce over 1.5 goals is 1.20 the final game for this collection is real betis versus athletic athletic bilbao now when you look at real betis and one thing you notice about this team is that they are pretty tight at home, right? They don't score a lot and they don't concede a lot as well when they play at home. 
you know athletic bilbao too is also very tight they don't score a lot they also don't concede their head-to-head shows this is a fixture that doesn't produce many goals so the prediction is simple we are saying no team will score three or more goals in a row and the odd is 1.14 so you have a total of 2.5 plus odds for your benefit here feel free to edit play whatever games you want to play and i wish you guys nothing but the very best join our telegram channel subscribe to this channel take me to 1000 subscribers today and i love you guys so much and see you guys tomorrow thank you